The New York Mets hosting the Atlanta Braves, and the Braves are minus 105 on the money line. The Mets are minus 115. The over-under is six and a half runs. Atlanta getting a run and a half are minus 200, meaning if you bet them that way and they win the game outright, you win. Or if they only lose the game by one, you win. Now, the Mets laying a run and a half are plus 170, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win the game by two. Now, Freed, I thought, was going to pitch yesterday. They must have been saving him for the Mets. He pitched three times against the Mets last year. Six innings, one run, one earned. They lost the game three to one. Five innings, two runs, two earned. <laughs> they won that game 20 to two, and I had to go back and do a double take. Seven innings, two runs, two earned, and they lost that game two to one. So he gave up a combined five runs in three games, and they lost two of them. That really sucks. Bassett did not pitch against the Braves last year. He was a member of the A's. Now the Braves are on a two-game losing streak. The Mets are on a one-game Huh. Winning streak. Head-to-head -head Atlanta is on a two-game winning streak against the Mets. Atlanta is 7-3 and three against them in their past 10. The team getting a run and a half is 7-3, and three, and the over is 6-4. and four. I'm going to take the Mets with the money line. I will take the Braves with the runs, and I'm going to go over the 6.5. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong. I think this will be a 4-3, to 5-4 kind of game.